basically this molecule 2 deoxy glucose it is not a novel molecule that was designed to uh, be a uh, anti covid 19 drug it is it was already existing uh, for for different purpose it was for like diag used as a diagnostic tool in pet scanning and also it uh, its potential uh, use of use in anti as an anti cancer therapy was uh, was in trial okay now because of the covid situation so its um, effect uh, 2-deoxy glucose uh, effect on anti cancer drug and also its effect on uh, anti, uh, effect as an antiviral is now used and this has been done uh, used in a clinical trials uh, to see if it has any beneficial effect on uh, uh, symptomatic covid 19 patient hey everyone welcome to dr munglish channel so in recent times 2 deoxy glucose it has been approved by the drug controller general of india for use in COVID, symptomatic covid 19 patients so that has generated a lot of interest in this molecule that is 2 deoxy d glucose uh, in this video let uh, i will be going over or i will be explaining you what exactly is this 2 deoxy glucose whether it is a brand new invention or if it is uh, a already existing molecule that was uh, designed for something else but now it is tried for um, uh, covid 19 symptomatic covid 19 patient let's jump into that now uh, glucose as you all know glucose is the most common source of cellular energy and a substrate for many biological uh, uh, processes because uh, every cell in our body it needs glucose glucose is the universal fuel for all of our cells so how these uh, cells will get glucose inside so the glucose since it's an hydrophilic molecule so it needs a transporter and the transporter for glucose is glucose transporters there are a variety of glucose transporters we can say glucose transporter 1 to glucose transporter 14 so especially glucose transporter 1 glucose transporter 4 and all that so uh, glucose basically gets into the cells uh, through a glucose transporter which facilitate entry of glucose into the cell so once it gets in there so what happens so glucose will undergo a metabolism where it breaks into a different molecules and in the process it gives energy okay now higher glucose utilization uh, will be done by tumor cells highly proliferative cells infected cells they all will take uh, uptake of higher amount of glucose that's why they will express uh, increased number of uh, glucose transporters over the surface they will express increased uh, enzymes metabolic enzymes to degrade the glucose for energy purpose now according to some estimates there will be around like 20 to 30 fold increase in the uptake of glucose increase in the uptake of uh, means expression of enzymes in these cells which are tumor cells highly proliferative cells infected cells like infected cells like viral uh, in, in infection uh, especially now uh, once inside the cell so glucose enters into various uh, cycles including glycolysis and it will produce uh, atps even uh, it has been established uh, uh, in the cancer cells it is a well established fact in the cancer cells we call that as a Warburg effect so what it says is even in uh, in the absence of oxygen generally what happens in our cells there will be oxygen present and glucose breaks down into pyruvate pyruvate goes into TCA cycle and generate ATPs as you are seeing here in this particular slide so uh, that happens in the differentiated cells in the presence of oxygen glucose gives lot of atps like 30 atps per molecule whereas even in the absence of oxygen uh, glucose being converted into lactate it gives two atps that's called anaerobic glycolysis now in the proliferative cells what happens glucose even in the absence of oxygen whether it is a present in presence in the presence of oxygen or in the absence of oxygen uh, it will preferentially is diverted into lactate uh, and then lactate undergoes further metabolism and it facilitate very, uh, the energy needs of uh, tumor cells or highly proliferative cells uh, or uh, infected cells 
and also it will facilitate so many other uh, metabolic changes which we call it as um, uh, cellular reprogramming and thereby uh, tumor cells will proliferate. I am going to take you into that aspect soon. Okay. Now, let us come to uh, look at like what exactly is 2 deoxy D glucose as you see here in the figure here is the glucose molecule. Um, let me highlight that uh, glucose molecule here this is the glucose molecule D glucose molecule which is a universal fuel for our cell uh, whereas as you see here this is a D glucose molecule. So, because second carbon second carbon especially the second carbon do not have hydroxyl group here second carbon do not have hydroxyl group compare that with the uh, glucose this is the glucose here second carbon having hydroxyl group. So, deoxy no oxygen no, no oxygen atom there. So, second carbon not having oxygen atom uh, in the glucose that is what that is what is 2 deoxy glucose that is the only difference between glucose D glucose and uh, 2 deoxy D glucose. Okay. So, glucose is a dextro sugar that is why we often call it as D glucose D for dextro. So, D glucose and 2 deoxy D glucose difference is second carbon do not have hydroxyl group that is what is 2 deoxy glucose 2 D G. Now, this is a synthetic analog of uh, glucose molecule. What is the mechanism of this 2 deoxy glucose molecule now? Now, the 2 deoxy glucose since, since it is similar to glucose molecule which we call it as D glucose on an analog. So, what happens is uh, it is also getting into initial reactions in glycolysis where glucose is converted into glucose 6 phosphate by hexokinase enzyme. Similarly, by the same hexokinase 2 deoxy glucose is also phosphorylated at 6th carbon and become 2 deoxy D glucose 6 phosphate. So, glucose is converted to glucose 6 phosphate like that 2 deoxy glucose is also converted into 2 deoxy glucose 6 phosphate this is done by hexokinase. Then what happens 2 deoxy glucose 6 phosphate do not undergo further reaction in the glycolytic uh, pathway um, by usually done by phosphoglucoisomerase enzyme or glucose 6 phosphate isomerase enzyme. This enzyme do not convert 2 deoxy glucose 6 phosphate into fructose 6 phosphate that is the job of enzyme like glucose 6 phosphate is converted to fructose 6 phosphate whereas here 2 deoxy glucose 6 phosphate is not converted to fructose 6 phosphate and that leads to accumulation of 2 deoxy glucose 6 phosphate. Then what happens? This 2 deoxy glucose 6 phosphate it will have a inhibitory effect feedback inhibitory effect on hexokinase enzyme and also it does not go down into the glycolysis process thereby it is going to inhibit glycolysis in glycolysis is inhibited by having an inhibitory effect on hexokinase thereby glycolysis and glucose metabolism is affected okay? and that is what is the mechanism of 2 deoxy glucose. Now, okay. so the effect of this 2 deoxy glucose on glycolysis it has been explored like whether we can use it to treat uh, different types of cancer. Okay. That is where it came from that is why 2 deoxy glucose molecule was uh, initially designed and also this 2 deoxy glucose molecule uh, has been used as a diagnostic tool I am going to come to that uh, point soon. Okay. Now, 2-deoxyglucose uh, is uh, relatively non-toxic and orally available. It is an attractive tool for potential anti-cancer therapy. It is a diagnostic potential has been widely explored like in uh, PET scanning, uh, positive emission uh, tomography scanning. Now, let us look into what are the biological activity of 2-deoxyglucose in cancer cells. Okay. So, 2 deoxy glucose as I explained to you earlier it is going to inhibit glycolysis I have explained you the mechanism and also 2 deoxy glucose it causes autophagy induction. Autophagy is a degenerative mechanism present in every living cell. In general autophagy is a process of sequestration of intracellular entities within double membraned vesicles called autophagolysosome and their delivery to lysosomes for degradation. In cancer cells, autophagy has a dual role in tumor development and survival. 
Autophagy enhances tumor growth in the early growth phase and in advanced tumor uh, it increases cancer cell survival and it promotes metastasis. Now, uh, the third use of uh, 2-deoxyglucose in cancer cells is it causes induction of apoptosis. Note that apoptosis is a programmed uh, cell death. So, prolonged autophagy and extensive self degradation ultimately leads to apoptotic cell death. It appears that potent 2-deoxyglucose apoptosis induction is transmitted via various pathways like autophagy, intrinsic and extrinsic pathway and that depends on cellular type. Now, the th uh, fourth mechanism of biological effect of 2-deoxyglucose on cancer cells is inhibition of protein N glycosylation process. You know proteins we have O glycosylation and N glycosylation. So, uh, 2-deoxyglucose it has got a inhibitory effect on N-glycosylation because it molecule is similar to mannose. So, 2-deoxyglucose it kind of competes with the mannose in uh, glycosylation process because uh, N-glycosylation we need mannose in uh, sufficient amounts and interference with the mannose with the 2-deoxyglucose will have an inhibitory effect on N-glycosylation and further uh, it leads to uh, stress oxidative uh, stress and other uh, uh, biology it interferes with the biological effects okay uh, now let's look into effect of uh, 2 deoxyglucose on cancer cells so 2 deoxyglucose has the following effects on cancer cells this is in summary so it inhibits glycolysis and uh, atp synthesis it disrupts N glycosylation process, it decreases energy metabolism and NADPH levels, it interferes with cellular thiol metabolism, it increases oxidative stress and with all the above effects 2-deoxyglucose appears to be an efficient cytotoxic agent. Importantly all of these effects are mostly observed in cancer cells and, with, and that too without significant effect on the viability of normal cells. That is what is the effect of 2-deoxyglucose on cancer cells. Now, now let us connect this with the viruses. Now, the energy cost of viral propagation, let us look into that. Viruses clearly rely on host cell machinery to propagate. They promote anabolism for general ma macromolecules needed for virion replication and assembly. Therefore, it is not surprising that viral infection triggers metabolic reprogramming in host cells to facilitate optimal viral uh, reproduction. Metabolic phenotypes confirmed, uh, conferred by virus infection often mirror metabolic changes seen in cancer cells such as upregulation of nutrient consumption and anabolism to support viral replication or rapid cell growth respectively. Different viruses rewire host cell metabolism to facilitate optimal viral replication. Both DNA and RNA viruses have been shown to reprogram various aspects of host cell carbon metabolism including increased glycolysis, elevated pentose phosphate uh, activity to support generation of nucleotides, amino acid generation and uh, lipid synthesis. So, while several viruses upregulate consumption of key nutrients like glucose, glutamine and converge on similar metabolic pathways for anabolism. So, with all this the institute of uh, nuclear medicine and allied sciences which is a, a lab of defense research and development organization that is DRDO. So, they have developed the anti-COVID-19 therapeutic application of the drug 2-deoxy-D-glucose. Uh, the institute worked with col in collaboration with Dr. Reddy's laboratories uh, Hyderabad. So, basically this molecule 2-deoxy-glucose it is not a novel molecule that was designed to uh, be a uh, anti-COVID-19 drug. It is it was already existing. Uh, for, for different purpose it was for like diag used as a diagnostic tool in PET scanning and also it, uh, its potential uh, use of use in anti as an anti-cancer therapy was uh, was in trial 
okay now because of the covid situation so its um, effect uh, 2-deoxy glucose uh, effect on anti cancer drug and also its effect on uh, anti, uh, effect as an antiviral is now used and this has been done uh, used in a clinical trials uh, to see if it has any beneficial effect on uh, uh, symptomatic covid 19 patient and with all the mechanisms that we have seen so it was found that 2 deoxy glucose was safe to use in covid 19 patients and showed a significant improvement in their recovery so the drugs control or uh, general uh, of india that is dcgi has cleared this drug for use in patients uh, who are symptomatic for covid 19 and that's how uh, now this particular uh, molecule 2 deoxy glucose is used as anti covid 19 drug and also its potential use for as a cytotoxic agent in uh, treatment of certain cancers and of course it's used as a pet in a pet scanning uh, it is used already in pet scanning but its potential uh, use as an anti cancer uh, drug in different types of cancer is uh, under research so this is all about um, uh, 2 deoxy glucose which is in news now and I hope this video has cleared uh, some of your uh, questions and also it has uh, given you what exactly is the mechanism of 2 deoxy glucose and that is all from my side uh, in this video. I will see you in my next video till then you take care.